Hi, this is Mr. Berger. In this video, we're going to talk about catalysts, what they are, and we're going to do a little demonstration to show you the effects of a catalyst on a chemical reaction. So, catalysts are uh, substances that interact with the reactants and cause them to react and turn into the products. So, catalysts speed up chemical reactions, but they are not changed by the chemical reaction. So, in this example, we're going to take hydrogen peroxide and we're going to get it to react and turn into the products of water and oxygen gas. Now notice I have manganese dioxide, which is the catalyst I'm going to be using in this example, written over the arrow. It is not part of the reactants and is not changed by the reaction. It does interact with the hydrogen peroxide, which we'll see in the next part, but it is not changed by it. So remember, the catalyst speeds up the reaction, but is not changed by the reaction. So let's go ahead and do this demo. In this Erlenmeyer flask, I have hydrogen peroxide and soap. I put the soap in there, so when this reaction occurs, we'll be able to see if more oxygen gas is being produced. That will show us if the rate of the reaction has increased. So right now, there are a few bubbles on the top of this Erlenmeyer flask, uh, the hydrogen peroxide in here, but not a lot. The reaction rate is not very fast and not very impressive. But when we add the catalyst, the manganese dioxide, which I'm going to do right now, it's a black powder. I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to add it in and you'll see that the reaction rate is dramatically increased. We see that because the amount of bubbles being made by the oxygen gas being released dramatically, dramatically increased as soon as I added the catalyst to the Erlenmeyer flask. And you see it continues to react and it will continue to react until all the hydrogen peroxide has been turned into the products which are water and oxygen. But remember the catalyst speeds up the chemical reaction but is not changed by it. Let's take a look at the next slide to understand that further. So, here we have the blue part of this diagram represents the catalyst, manganese dioxide. And I've drawn another molecule up here to represent the hydrogen peroxide. Notice how there's a part of this catalyst, manganese dioxide, that actually fits with the hydrogen peroxide. So this is actually called the active site of the catalyst and the it actually binds or bonds with binds with the hydrogen peroxide. Putting pressure under on the hydrogen peroxide, tweaking the bonds a little bit and causing it to react and to be converted into the products, in this case water and oxygen gas. Now notice the catalyst is unchanged and can be used again and again in this situation. This can be used again thousands or millions of times. As long as it maintains its shape, it can maintain uh, its function. So, the connection to biology is that enzymes are organic catalysts. So, your cells make enzymes to control and regulate your metabolism. Metabolism is a very specific set of enzyme-controlled reactions. It is not just random reactions happening spontaneously at their normal rate given the conditions. Your body puts a lot of energy into synthesizing all the specific enzymes it needs so that it can have the specific metabolic reactions that it needs to be alive and have the metabolism with whatever species we're talking about. So, don't forget enzymes are proteins, so we need to learn about proteins. I also have another lecture that talks uh, about some basic information um, for us to understand enzymes. I hope that was helpful. Thank you.